It says studies reveal women are actually happier being single than men. Shocker. And I'm going to read briefly what the study says. It says women are happy being single than men more than men because being in a relationship is harder work for women. New research suggests, according to study by data analysts, 61% of single women um, are happy being single versus 49% of single men. Uh, the survey also found 75% of single women have not actively looked for a relationship in the last year compared to 65% single men. They also said that the reason proposed is because for women, being in a heterosexual relationship is actually a lot of work because it requires more effort and labor than it does the men, right? So they also said that uh, women spend more money while, while they're in a relationship. They are doing domestic tasks while in their relationship, more housework, cooking, cleaning, more emotional labor, so from spending more time and money and upkeep of their appearance also while in a relationship. So regarding this, I thought it was very interesting because I didn't even think about it till I saw like the, the points that they were giving and I actually kind of agree. Right. So let's hear from some of the women first. <laughs> what do y'all think about this? Are women happier being single than men? Not all women at the same time now. <laughs> I, I mean, you want to go, Dre? Cap. Go ahead, Dre. The silence Cap. is deafening. <laughs> They're like, I'm lonely. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> I mean, I can't say yes or no. The act, I mean, I understand and hear Q reading the article, but. I don't know if I agree with that. I, I don't I don't know. I don't think I agree Why? with that. I mean, when they said spend more money, I definitely spend more money when I'm in a relationship. Like I'm a whole simp yeah. out here, gifts, all of that, like planning dates, da 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 da. So regarding the money factor, yes. Regarding the they said what else did they say? They said emotional work. They talked about domestic duties. You're going to do more stuff when it even like it's like a child. No offense to men, but it's like you're having a child in your family. That's double work, double emotional, mental, whatever, putting into that person. So I, I get why they say that. But I agree with some of that, but all of it. No, I can't say I agree with it. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? I don't know. But so. to spend more money, I mean, I'm married, but I would think that you spend more money single, you're going to go out for, you're going to go out and stop for, you're going to go out for. Wait, Drea, your, ser Drea, your service is going in and out. Take your phone. That's You're on your computer, right? No, uh, I'm on my phone. Okay, so something is draining your Wi Fi. So she cutting in and out a lot. Yeah, you cutting in the eye. I think something take your Wi Fi computer off your Wi Fi or whatever. This is probably your Wi Fi. But while you fix that, anybody, any of the men got something to say? Okay, cap. wait, let's do it first. Why is it cap, Quinn? How do you even quantify like how much you're happy? Like happy is not even it's not like a common state of being. It's something that like it comes and it goes. You're just not always fucking happy. Mm -hmm. And of course, okay. there's a bunch Let's... of I bet you there's a bunch of modern Let's... women that took this um that took this um little quiz testing too. That, that, that didn't make any Let's... sense. Do you Quinn, think like, I'm not I'm, 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 like generally speaking, I'm I'm good and I'm not bad. I'm not happy. I'm not nothing. I'm just fucking. I'm being, I'm just in the moment. I don't feel anything right now. Do y'all think women spend more money in a relationship or being single? All right, Q, how, how do women expect to be men to be full providers if y'all are spending all the money? Like if, do, if men are expected to take women out and pay for the dates, we're expected to co-sign for the homes and all this stuff. Like how is that women spending more money? Like men are substantially... <clears throat> And I think it's across the board. I don't mm -hmm. think either side is happier or dis happy. I'll say that. But when it comes to a I money think... aspect alone, I'm sitting there going like, D 
dude, men are nowadays they're generally expected to be the providers, which means financial stability. So where's all this? I think I think women are here? women are frivolous, and, and 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 I and I just like I'm living this real time. Like there's stuff that I would say that I wanted, and it end up at my door like in the next two <laughs> days. And like to me, like like that was like further down the line. I got a budget. I got a plan. Like this might gonna happen in about six or seven months. And she just sent it to me the next day. And I'm like, "What you doing? Mm -hmm. Y'all aren't okay. good with money. So if y'all spending more money, that don't have nothing to do with men." So regarding relationships, who do you think is doing more work domestically, men or women? Well, if it's domestically, it should be y'all. Nowadays? <laughs> Are you talking about nowadays? It depends on the type of relationship that you're in, first of all. Right? I think so, all these questions are subjective to the relationship. Like, it correct. depends. I feel like men would. I'm being honest. I think men spend a lot of money. And I think women spend a lot of money. Now, how it gets spent, <laughs> we can debate that all day. But I think it's an equal portion of us both sharing, both spending money. Quentin, fix your face. <laughs> Oh, no. I, this is all. This is all silly. It's one hundred percent silly. I know the question. I agree. Is silly. Women that are widows. I absolutely agree. I know women that are widows that are they cannot like they've been in new relationships. They've been single, and they would prefer to be back in the same relationship that they was before their husband died. I know women that are newly single and they're going to lie to their friends and they're going to pretend like they all happy and they wish they were still in a relationship. You know, because ultimately we know that women that get divorced turn out, especially financially, are in a much more devastated space than where they where they were before they was in a relationship. That's a statistical fact. Quentin was right. How do you quantify what happiness is? How do you, you know, who took this fucking study? Because most people would rather be, most guys and women would rather be with somebody, I don't even know how you determine whether or not you're single or you married. I mean, or whether you're single or you're in a relationship, <clears throat> what is single, right? Is it whether you're married or is it if you in a relationship or not? You know what I'm saying? So it's so many different questions that you have to ask yourself. But however, I will say that a lot of times even women define themselves as being single, but they fucking somebody, right? You could be having multiple different dudes all over. And so it don't seem like you are but you really are if you want to designate yourself as being single. But the reality is that you could still be getting buzzed down or you could still be going on dates or whatever, but that don't necessarily mean that you are in a relationship, but you're trying to source the same things that you would get in a relationship into what it is that your current lifestyle is because you want to live both. You want to be a hot girl. You want to do the hot girl summer thing or whatever. Or you want to hang out with your homies or you want to be, you know, trade off and you get them this week. I'm going to get a little man next week. But then you still want to you still want to have both sides, right? And so what I found is that for most people, it's never ever green, grass is never greener on the other side. Most single people want to be married, and most married people want to be single. At some point, they think that it's always going to be much more fruitful on the other side. And for both people, they're absolutely wrong. And the problem isn't necessarily of whether you're happy or whether you're single or not. The problem is that you're not a happy person, right? Because I'm gonna be happy whether I'm single or, or I'm in a relationship, right? And most people, when they get into a relationship, they're looking to be interdependent on somebody else for their happiness, which is why they're more happy when they get single, right? I don't know if I'm, I'm making sense, but let me just break it down like this, right? I always say that a relationship is 100-100. It's not 50-50, it's not 70-30, none of that, right? And so if you come into a relationship and you're a broken person, it's just going to be exponentially worse because adding other factors, whether it's money, whether it's people, whether it's your situation, whether you move to another city, it just multiplies what your circumstance is. So if you're the type of person that's just drab, you never fix yourself, you're just a miserable fucking man or you're a miserable fucking woman. When you get into a relationship, anything that goes wrong, it's going to be exponentially worse. If you're a person that's a, a trash person and you get some money. All it does is enable you to do more trash shit because now you have more access, right? And so when, when I see people that say, whether you're single or you're happy, that they're unhappy, you're an unhappy person, another person ain't going to fix that. If you're True. a single, miserable chick, a man ain't going to fix that for you. If you're a single, if you're a married, miserable chick, you being single is not going to fix that, right? You're going you're gonna to have to fix within, what's within yourself 
which then attracts the other things that come along with it. People that are happy, people that are, that are in a good space, they attract other happy people and they, they surround themselves with dope people. When I'm around Q and we all hanging, we, ain't, we don't get into arguments, we don't beef, we don't have problems. We be out having fun, having a good time. I, I don't remember the last time I actually had an argument. I don't remember the last time I had a, a literally a debate with my wife. And I've been married for 19 years. I think the last time that we had an argument had to be like maybe 15 years ago. That's it. We may have differences of opinion. We may disagree on some stuff, but we spend 95, 98% of our time focusing on the thing that we like about each other and not necessarily trying to fix each other. So when I see that whole thing, that just means that that's, that reminds me of, and sorry, I'm going on a tangent. That reminds me of people that give ratings on restaurants. Most people only rate the restaurants when they have a bad, bad experience, mm -hmm. unless the restaurant specifically asks you to rate the rate the restaurant if you had a good experience. Most of the people I'm assuming that's a part of whatever this study is, is just miserable fucking people. <laughs> that's so, that's my point of it. 